Good day everyone. Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Our topic for today is the rectangular coordinate system or the Cartesian coordinate system. You will encounter the different mathematical terms and proponent of the rectangular coordinate system. First, we have René Descartes. He is the proponent of the rectangular coordinate system. That's why it's also known as the Cartesian coordinate system. Came from its um, name, Descartes, the Cartesian coordinate system. You will also encounter the y-axis. The y-axis is our vertical axis in our rectangular coordinate system. The x-axis is the horizontal axis. Now, we have our rectangular coordinate system here. Let us locate where is the y-axis and the x-axis. We know that y-axis is the vertical axis. This is our vertical axis. That's why we have y-axis here. Okay, and we have the x-axis, the horizontal axis. So our horizontal line, so this is our x-axis. Okay, next, next term is the origin. Origin is the intersection of the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. So where is our origin? Intersection, so we have point here that is our intersection therefore this is our origin next we have the quadrants notice that our rectangular coordinate system is divided into four this is the quadrant one quadrant two quadrant three and quadrant four it is named counterclockwise. So let us name. This is the quadrant one. One. Quadrant. Two. Quadrant. three and quadrant four okay now in our origin we know that in our number line if this is our zero on the right side are the positive numbers so let us lay them this will be our one next will be two followed by three four and five on the left side will be our negative numbers so this is zero so this will become negative one negative two negative three negative four and negative five make sure that you have calibrated our our distance into equal parts because that indicates our units and upward our origin we have the positive numbers one two three four and five and below our origin we have the negative numbers zero so we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. Next, we have the coordinates. Our coordinates is composed of the x coordinate and the y coordinate. The x coordinate It also known as the 
known as the abscissa. And the Y coordinate is also known as coordinate. Take note that our coordinates is composed of the X and the Y. So it is ordered pair, also known as the ordered pair. Pair. That is composed of two numbers. The X coordinate or the abscissa and the Y coordinate or the ordinate. Now, after discussing the different mathematical terms, how we are going to use the Cartesian plane? That would be our next lesson. And now let's try this example. Plot the following points in the coordinate plane and determine which quadrant is each point located. Determine. That means we're going to find where it is quadrant located. It's whether it is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, or quadrant 4. Now, this is our coordinate system. First, let us have a short review about the different signs of our quadrants. In quadrant 1, our sign is Quadrant 1, sign is positive, positive. In quadrant 2, we have negative for x and positive for y. Quadrant 3, negative for the x and negative for the y. And in quadrant 4, Positive for the x and negative for the y. Okay. Now, let us first locate which the points are located. Negative 3, negative 1. Negative, negative. Therefore, it is located in our quadrant 3. Next, number 2. 2, negative 3, positive and negative, positive and negative, quadrant 4, quadrant 4. Number 3, 5, 5, positive, 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 therefore in quadrant 1, quadrant 1. Number 4. Negative 3, positive 5. Negative, positive. So negative, positive. It's quadrant 2. And 0, negative 3. 0, in our origin, going to negative 3. So it's along y axis or on the y axis. Now, after determining the quadrants of our points, let us locate in our coordinate system. Negative 3, negative 1, we know that it is located in our quadrant 3. So, negative 3 for x, then negative 1. So, negative 3, and for y, negative 1, we're going down, so it's here. Negative 3, negative 1. Okay. Next, 2, negative 3. Positive 2 and negative 3. We know that it is located in our quadrant 4. It's here. Positive 2 and going to negative 3. Negative 3. This is our point. Let us name it as A, B, C, D, and E. So this is our A, our B, 
and C is 5, 5. Pass team, pass team. Okay, then in quadrant one, one, two, three, four, five, going up. Okay, this is our C. Negative three, pass team five. Located in quadrant two. Negative three, going up, pass team five. It's here. That is letter D. And last, zero, negative two. Zero, going down to negative two. That is our so that is on how to determine and how to plot in our rectangular coordinate system. Now you are ready to answer your modules. See you in our next lesson.